Hey everybody, Laura here. Let me spin around here. If you have a ball or a pillow, this is a great time to grab it. What we're going to do is we're going to place that ball right between the knees. Hands are going to go behind the legs. If, if you have knee issues, keep your toes drawn up. We're going to give that ball a squeeze. Collarbones are wide. Give it a squeeze and a release. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. We're going to bring the elbows to the floor. If we can't, if that's not for you, stay upright. Let me get back here. So it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, <clears throat> all the way down to the floor, if you would. Arms long by the side, right? Heels close. So again, squeeze the ball. So we want the ball, if I should say this, or the pillow, um, just above the knee, between the knee and the hip, not right at the knee joint, please. Exhale, four. So we do this to engage the abdominals, good. Belly button in, draw the abs in. We're gonna peel a little bridge, right? And then just down. So if you can, again, just roll it on up, long through both sides of the waist, and down. Just two more like that, and then we'll, we'll put the move together. So if you've been watching along, give it a squeeze, roll on up at the top, give it a release, squeeze, roll on down. Inhale, exhale, squeeze, roll on up, inhale, and then squeeze, exhale, on down. So if that gets too confusing, just breathe, doesn't matter. You know, you're doing something, right? Glad that you're here with me. Collarbones are wide. Let's do it again. You're gonna love this by the time we're done. Maybe not now. Good. How about three more? Three, even weight in both feet. Remember the knees are aimed out in the direction of the second toe, if you can. And the last time. Good. Now, if you're able, heels lift up, toes, Give that ball a squeeze right there. So it's almost like you're in a chair that fell over, right? And you're just squeezing that ball. We've got four more. Four, three, two, and one. Take the arms out to the side. Give the ball a squeeze. Gently roll toward me and then center and then away or whatever direction, right? So the ball helps to support your back, right? This move does not have to be big. It does not have to be major. If you need to, please place your feet back on the floor. Good. Belly button in, heels lower toward the tush. Feet on the floor. Slide your feet away if you can. Remember when we were standing, we had our hands behind our head, elbows out to the side. If you're able, belly button in, we're gonna peel that spine off the mat. Look above that ball or pillow. And then gently down. Let's do it again. Gently down. You're doing great. Gently down. Good. Four more, just like that. So the ball is just a placeholder here. Not really doing anything with it at this time. Good. Now remember how we had the feet like we were in a chair position, 90-90. Let's do that chest, head, neck, and chest lift again. Eight. You got it. Seven. Uh-huh. Six. That's right. Five. Four. Three. I hope this outfit is making you laugh. Two. Because it's making me laugh. Good. And heels down. Good. Slide the feet a bit away if we can. We're going to add some head, neck, and chest lift with rotation. Feet are on the floor. We're up. Turn toward me if you can. Center and then down. So it's just a little quarter circle. Other direction. And down. And again. This is six. Uh-huh. Five. You got it. Four. Three. And one, fantastic. Do you want more? Me too, right? Beat her up at that 90-90, or they can stay down. Head, neck, and chest lift with rotation. Knees at 90. Good, or tabletop, whatever you want to call it. Four more, please. Four, three, two.